today on Running to Him. God presents himself through the characteristics based on the meaning of his names. Today's reading is Exodus chapter 6, verses 1 through 13, and we'll be concentrating on verses 2 through 5. Exodus 6, 2 through 5 in the Tanakh says, God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob as El Shaddai, but I did not make myself known to them by my name. And this is the name in the Tetragrammaton, Yahweh. I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of the Canaan and the land in which they lived as sojourners. I have now heard the moaning of the Israelites because of the Egyptians are holding them in bondage, and I remembered my covenant. Now, in the Old Testament, God presented himself through names such as Elohim, Jehovah, El, and El Shaddai, and etc. Each of these names represented not a different God, but a distinct characteristic of one God. God used the Hebrew language in the Old Testament to describe himself better because Hebrew is very descriptive. For example, in Hebrew, the word we translate in English as patience is actually two words in Hebrew, meaning long nose or long nostrils. These two words are used because the Hebrew translated into English as anger are also two words, meaning nostrils flaring. So Elohim is simply translated as God in English. In Hebrew, Elohim is seen as the creator God and is a plural noun, not a singular. Also, the Hebrew word El, which is in English simply translated as God, is seen in Hebrew as a powerful one. And the Tetragrammaton, those four words, Y-H-W-H, is never pronounced in Hebrew. In English, we pronounce it as Jehovah, and it's written in all caps as capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. This characteristic of God is the promise-making, covenant-making God. Jehovah is also God's personal name. Now, God tells Moses that he presented himself to the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as El Shaddai, or the Mighty God. The reason for this presentation is because of the circumstances surrounding the patriarchs. They needed confidence in God's ability to perform his promises. He gave them that confidence through his names. Since the late 1850s, liberal Christians, in particularly Old Testament scholars, attempted to downplay the oneness of the Old Testament and came up with a theory known as the Documentary Hypothesis. Instead of assuming that specific authors such as Moses, Ezekiel, Ezra, Daniel, etc. were authors of the books named after them, they attempted to place the authors in groups formed through the names they used for God. Thus, the Elohimist group of writers wrote parts of Genesis, and the Jehovah's group penned any scriptures the way that personal name of God was found. The priestly group penned Leviticus and anything to do with the religious worship, and the Deuteronomist group wrote the book of Deuteronomy and other sections of the Old Testament where repeated stories were found. Just thinking infiltrated many denominations and destroyed the explicit meaning of the Hebrew language. Now Moses is told that YHWH is the covenant-making, promise-keeping God, and he's, that's his characteristic and God's name, and it was the one who would lead them out of Egypt. As an aside, people sometimes get the idea that people who don't know Greek or Hebrew cannot investigate shades of words in either the Old Testament or New Testament, and I will agree that not knowing the language makes studying slightly more complicated, but not impossible. Many bits of help can be found online or in books, such as Robert Baker Girdlestone's book entitled Synonyms of the Old Testament, or Vine's Expository Dictionary of Old and New Testament Words, and these can be found online. These are 19th century works found mainly using the King James translation, but that's an easy workaround to the problem. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.